Hi, this is Espresso Bella, and today we are going to show you how to clean your Breville espresso machine. So though we're using this model, you can use any Breville model that you have at home, and we're just going to show you a few quick tips and tricks on how to clean it nice and quick. So turn your machine on. Make sure that you have water in your tank. You're going to get your handle, knock out whatever coffee is inside. If you have a handy knock box, go for it. So there's still a little bit of grounds in there. So first what we're going to do is clean the handle. So you're going to, as soon as your machine's all warmed up, you're going to run some water through the handle and get some of the grinds out of there. A few other tips and tricks just to let you guys know. Everything can go in the dishwasher. Aren't you excited? So the handle can go, the tray can go, the water tank can go, everything can go in the dishwasher to save you some time um, from washing it. So. We can probably run that water now. It's all right, it doesn't need to be hot. So you're gonna run some water just to get any excess grind out of the filter. See how it's all dirty and gross coming out of there? It's gonna fill up your tank, that's fine. You can turn it off, take your handle off, check to make sure that there's nothing in there. You might have to dump a little bit of that grossness out. Okay, and that handle can go right into the dishwasher after you're all done. So for now, we're gonna show you how to steam, or to clean your steam wand. So grab your steam wand. You're gonna grab a cup of water, nice clean water. Turn your steam on. Put the, first put the wand inside the water. Otherwise you're gonna get water all over the place. Turn it on and you're gonna wait until the steam starts coming out there. You're gonna move the cup up and down just like you would if you're frothing milk, but you're technically frothing water, just to clean the inside of the steam wand. So you don't need to use a frothing jug, you can use a cup. It might get hot, so just make sure that you're using uh, something that can get hot. And that's it, you're just gonna do that for about a minute or so, making sure that all of the milk and grossness is outside of the steam wand. Perfect, so this is just a quick version, so we're gonna turn it off. Wipe down your steam wand because sometimes there is milk gunk. However, you should be wiping your steam wand every time you froth milk. So that way there's not a lot of buildup of stuff. Next, we're going to take out the tray. Be careful because it will be full of water, especially if you did it in this order. So you're going to take out the tray. It's pretty gross. You might have a little bit of slime on it, definitely some water. So we're going to go wash that. We're also going to take out our tank and we're gonna wash that as well. So we headed over to the sink and washed everything, but like I said, you can put it all in the dishwasher. Put all of your pieces of the tray back together. There should be three pieces, if not four, depending on your machine. Put everything back in. Don't forget to fill up your water tank. And you have a nice clean machine now. So a few cool things about the Breville machines, all of their trays have a little line inside of them that says full. So when you start to see that little line slide up, it's time to take out the tray, dump out the water, and give it a good clean. This usually, if you're drinking a few coffees a day, happens weekly, but you can clean it how often you want. That was Espresso Bella telling you how to clean your Breville machine. Check back to our YouTube page for more tips and tricks. Subscribe and head over to our website at www.espressobella.com if you are interested in purchasing a machine.